Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And earlier this month, I did a post about Affinity products no longer being available. You simply could not buy Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, or Affinity, Affinity Publisher. They just, they took the store down completely. So we knew something was up. And the thing is, Affinity are probably like the preeminent alternative to Adobe products. And the thing that people love about Affinity is you pay like 60 bucks and they are yours forever. People like this. Well, they were bought by Canva. Canva is subscription-based software. So people were a little terrified about what could happen to Affinity products. Now, they made a pledge that they are going to keep going with the way they were. They were gonna keep perpetual licenses. They will always price it a fairly and affordably and so on. So Canva kind of tried to, to make everyone feel comfortable with the fact that they now owned Affinity and that Affinity wouldn't be going Away. So when this happened, people, including myself, were terrified. I literally use this program every day. I'm using it right now, very early on, but to create the thumbnail for this. I use it to create all of my thumbnails. It is my vector graphics application of choice. At the same time, if I need to do some pixel artwork, such as, say, pull a logo out, delete something from the background, I use Affinity Photo, which is a separate application. Again, very reasonable price. This is sort of your alternative to Photoshop, while this is your alternative to Illustrator or Corel Draw. So where were they going with this? This is terrifying to me. And they said they'll tell us on October the 30th. Well, October the 30th is here. And to be honest, this is probably best case scenario land. This is the website Affinity Studio, and this is the future of Affinity. So what they have done is basically taken all of the Affinity suite, so each particular application, so the vector, pixel, and then I also have Publisher, which I didn't really mention here, which competes with Adobe Publisher, obviously, enough for InDesign. Well, they put them all together, and it's free. Now, there's a catch. I would get to the catch, but the catch is nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. In fact, it's kind of good in a roundabout way because it's adding some features to Affinity Suites that I've kind of missed. Um, and, and it'd be interesting to see how well they work. So Affinity, all one product now. So all of the stuff has just been merged together. You have a vector layer, a pixel layer, a layout layer. And this, by the way, is Affinity. Here you can see it. This is kind of doing a publisher style document. And here, this is exactly that document I was talking about before. So if you're working with vector graphics applications or text, uh, you can uh, still do all that stuff. This is the new version, but you're gonna notice it's all together. So if I'm working with pixel art, I switch over to the pixel mode. If I'm working with layout, I switch to the layout mode. If I wanna pay money, I switch to Canva AI. So there is the monetization, but this is fully optional. You do not need to subscribe to it. And if you stick to just here and here, you are basically dealing with an affinity suite of tools that is all merged together and is completely free. That is... That's pretty cool. So there's where we're at right now with this. So this is now called Affinity Studio. Uh, so a little bit more details here. Again, uh, no cost involved. Uh, so all of the features were kind of moved in together. Non-destructive editing. Uh, by the way, on that topic, your existing files are forward compatible, but not backwards. So when you open them up in the new version, uh, they're gonna need to be saved or they will not be openable in Affinity 2.x versions, uh, which by the way, are still available for download. So you can see the idea of what is here and what you get. So this is where you need a Canva premium plan to buy. And what you're going to notice here is you're getting everything except Canva AI Studio. So what are you getting? What is the AI stuff that you have to pay for? Well, the one thing I've wanted from Affinity products forever is background removal. It drives me nuts that it doesn't have there. You've also got your Gen AI stuff in here, generative fill, generative, uh, generative expand, generative edit. Uh, colorized depth selection, super resolution, portrait blurring and portrait lighting, and full AI generation history. That's it. That is all that you need to pay for, and you can ignore that completely. If you ignore that completely, everything else you've got here is the traditional suite of Affinity products. Honestly, this is um, the best case scenario. I honestly didn't think that it would go this way. Now, if you recently paid for Affinity um, designer, publisher, or photo, yeah, yeah, you're kind of out of luck. But to be all honest, I found that their their pricing and their, their product and what you got from it was completely worth it. It always hates, it sucks to be the person who bought the last version uh, before a product was, you know, 
changed or made free or whatever. But they did now them taking it down in October so nobody paid for it when they wouldn't have to. Well, that's pretty nice. On top of that, uh, the Affinity um, suite for mobile iOS is still under development. So you can actually get Affinity uh, Photo Designer and Publisher right now for free on the iOS store. They're working on a new version. So uh, that is ultimately going to be free as well. So what you're seeing now, this is the designer portion of Affinity. This is also a new logo. Uh, personally, I kind of hate it, but uh, it's neither here nor there. Uh, and then again, I don't really know specifically what they have added to each program. So what's new in Affinity uh, Photo or designer portion, portions of the new Affinity Studio. Um, so there might be a bunch of new stuff in there. I'm going to have to dig in further to find out what is actually new versus what has been moved over because this is such a massive change. It's hard to break down what they've actually done here. Again, we also do have generative AI stuff there. This is the stuff that will require uh, a Canva professional license to use. Uh, I'm quite fair with it. So here we go, the FAQ. So is this really free? Yes, Affinity really is free. You can use every tool in Pixel, Vector, and Layout Studios, plus all of the customization and export features as much as you want with no restrictions or payment needed. You do need to sign up though, by the way. I used my Gmail account. You do need to, to sign up with Canva to get this downloaded. Uh, the app also receives free updates with new features and improvements added. If you are a Canva premium plan, pro, business, enterprise, or education, you will be able to unlock Canva's powerful AI tools with the uh, Affinity via Canva. Canva AI Studio. So file formats that you can export out to, pretty much the same as before, PDF, SVG, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, WebP. Now, I thought you used to be able to export out to um, AI. So I'm not sure what's going on there, if anything has changed there. Again, I don't know what has changed between the different versions. Yeah, here, so can I export out to uh, Illustrator, uh, PDF, and SVG? Okay, so I don't know if AI was a feature before and it's gone, but you can see, again, all the details of what it is and all of the stuff that that they answer here is completely fair in my opinion. Uh, and then here, another key thing here is there is only one app now. And that's always made sense to me, to be honest, because the, the amount of overlap between this guy right here, uh, so Affinity Photo and then uh, Affinity Studio. I would jump in here to do, again, pixel selections, a few things like that, some pixel uh, erasing or drawing or whatever. But I do most of my composition and work over here in Affinity. But the, the layout system was the same. The effects system was the same. A lot of the filters are the same. These things were all the same, etc. It's just one is vector and one is raster. And even this one has a pixel profile mode where you can do some of the pixel art stuff there. So it always kind of made sense of just, it was so close to having photo integrated. Well, now that we have Affinity Studio here, it is. Now you still have your aspects. So you're in vector mode or in pixel mode or in page layout mode. So this is the publisher side of things. But other than that, it is the same tools you know and love. We got, again, obviously uh, an updated facelift. There's nothing that I've seen here though that I find offensive. Uh, I think there's quite a few changes, little changes here as well, but I don't know the details of what those changes are. But the big news here for sure is this, that Affinity is now a suite of products. So you've got the photo editing side of things, same thing, Affinity Studio, and then you have Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher all together as Affinity Studio. And again, it's all completely Free. So if you bought Affinity products recently, yeah, you kind of out of luck. You could have waited a little bit and got them for free. I have no complaints. I have gotten my use out of these forever. I'm very happy that it is legit being kept around for free for everybody. This should actually increase adoption because if you have never checked out Affinity products, go do it. They're really good. You may actually find you have no need to um, subscribe to Adobe products anymore. Adobe have to be crapping their pants over this move, to be honest. And again, there is that AI side of things. That is where they're monetizing this. But if you want, completely ignore that this tab exists. I would love to actually just be able to outright remove it. I'm not sure if you can. I suppose I could turn it into an icon only and barely see it. Uh, but it's it's legit. I find it fair that it's there. I, I find that, uh, again, I had all these doomsday scenarios of where Canva could take Affinity. They could have made it subscription only or whatever. And what they've done, I'm fine with it. But I'm curious, what do you think? Are you excited by this change? Are you scared by this change? Are you happy? Are you sad? Let me know.